Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are doing great. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make some nanotape bubbles as well as some nanotape water squishies. I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's jump right into it. So first up, I'm going to be making a water squishy using nanotape. So I have some polymer clay here and I'm going to make a little goldfish. You can make anything that you like. I think it would be very cute to possibly make like a jellyfish. That would look very, very cute. I'm just making a very simple goldfish and I'm going to go ahead and bake that in the oven for five minutes. The next thing you're going to need is nano tape. I got this from Amazon and I will have a link for it in the description box. So I just cut a piece of the nano tape and I'm going to place that and then we're just going to go ahead and fold the tape in half. I'm taking off the plastic peel and now you're going to need water. So I did color the water with some food coloring and I have this in a small little bottle. I got this from Amazon as well, I think. And now all you want to do is go ahead and take your blow dryer and on the highest setting you want to heat this up for a minute and this is really going to seal the edges of the tape so that the water does not leak through. I'm filling it up with water and the tape is still warm so you can easily just press it down to close the little opening. Now I'm just going to cut off the extra tape from the edges. And here is the water squishy all completed. It turned out super cute. I think this is my favorite out of all three of them. Um, but you guys can let me know which one is your favorite. Next, I'm going to be making another water squishy, but this is going to be a different design. So here I have my nano tape. I'm going to cut a piece of that and I'm going to fold it in half. I'm cutting the tape in kind of like a half moon shape so that the squishy has a nice round shape to it. Okay, so I'm using pink colored water. You can do any color that you want. You basically just want to mix in some acrylic paint and that's about it. So here I'm just blow drying this to really make sure that I've sealed the edges. Now I'm going to go ahead and fill this up with some water. Once that's done, you should be able to close the little opening because the glue is still warm. But in case if it's not, just go in with your blow dryer and reheat it and that should do the trick. I'm going to go in and cut off the extra tape and now we're going to start decorating this. So I have some air dry clay here and I'm going to be making the ears for our little cat design. I'm going to pop those on using some glue and the last step is to go ahead and add a face using acrylic paint. Here is the cat squishy all completed. It turned out so cute and it's so much fun to play with. I really love the way it feels. Finally, I'm going to be showing you how to make a nano tape bubble. So again, I'm just going to take my nano tape and cut a piece of that. Now I want this to be a colored bubble. So I'm going to be taking some chalk pastel and I'm just going to scrape some of that on top of the tape. Very carefully, you want to fold the tape in half. Make sure that you don't get any chalk pastel around the edges. Otherwise, it's not going to seal. We are going to be making a bubble, so you will need a straw. And now I'm going to take my blow dryer again and just heat this for about a minute to make sure that all of the edges are sealed. Blow in some air from the other end of the straw. I'm going to shake the bubble to make sure that I evenly coat the chalk pastel on the inside of it. You can decorate this however you like. I decided to make a bear, so using some air dry clay, I'm making the ears and then using acrylic paint, I'm going to add the face.
And here is the nanotape bubble all done. And that is it for this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it and I hope you all are having a fantastic day. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next one.